Hello, and welcome to the People's Mental Stimulus Update. Well, in today's Mental Stimulus Update, I have a few different topics to cover. First one is gun control, and uh, each of my topics comes with a, 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 comp a complimentary video with it, so please stick with me on that. Please use your more relevant. But like I said, I'm going to talk to you about gun control. I'm going to talk to you about some new messed up laws, and then also the new law in Florida that passed that allows school administrators to check your child's genitalia to make sure that they're a boy or a girl that going into the restrooms. Now, isn't that pretty messed up? So, well, that and I also got another video that sort of basically says, tells you that how, how the Trump supporters made love Trump, but how he despises them. But I'll put that in towards the end. But to start off with, let's actually talk about gun control and how the Republicans kept saying how the Democrats want to take away your guns when in fact that is a falsehood. Because Democrats own guns too and they'd be taking away their Democratic guns. Well, the Democrats' actually law was to basically make it so to purchase a gun, you have to be registered. Well, as you see from this next video, you'll be surprised what not registering can actually happen. It can happen with not registering, let's put it that way. Because you will see a 13 year old boy go into a gun show. That's right, you heard me. A 13 year old boy going into a gun show and purchasing a gun. Now, how messed up is that? And there's there's states out here that do not require you to register when you buy a gun. So you can go to another state and buy a gun and then go back to another state and use it and they have no way of tracking it. But like I said, here, I'm going to show you a video of the 13 year old boy by the gun, so stick with me. I'll be right back. Thank you. Up at the convenience store to see Jack try to buy beer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The cashier can't believe he even tried. Literally, he looks like he's 12. At the next store, Jack tries to buy cigarettes with no luck. I'm so sorry I'm Later, he strikes out trying to buy Racy Magazine. All right, okay, thank you. And then lottery tickets. Can I get a couple of scratch offs? How old are you? You got your ID? 13. You what? I'm 13. You can't get no scratch off, baby. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you. It's laughable to everyone here the idea that we'd ever expose a 13 year old to the dangers of a lottery ticket. But then we arrive here at the gun show. It should shoot pretty good for you. I'll take it. Within minutes, the 13 year old easily and legally bought a 22 caliber rifle from a private seller and walked away with it. And like I said, I also have a few other things here for you. I mean, I have uh, a few messed up new laws. Well, they're anti-protester laws. And I actually have a video for that. I'm actually gonna let you, the, the, the person who told me about them, explain them to you. Like I said, all my information I'm getting off of social media is so, it may or may not be true, but from what I understand, most of the stuff is true. But, like I said, I let this gentleman explain some of the new messed up laws that the state, that they're doing for anti-protesters. And trust me, they are just so messed up. So I'll be right back. Republicans, the supposed party of free speech, have introduced 81 anti-protest bills in 34 states so far this year. A bill in Oklahoma would make it illegal to block a public roadway while granting immunity to drivers who run over and injure or kill protesters. A bill introduced in Florida would create new felony punishments for protesters, impose harsher penalties for existing misdemeanors, and deny bail to protesters charged until they've appeared in court. These bills are direct attacks on the constitutional right of Americans to assemble. Republicans complain about a cancel culture and the death of free speech. Yet they advance these authoritarian bills, cracking down on First Amendment rights of free speech and free assembly. Their hypocrisy isn't just staggering, it's dangerous. And as you noticed, I mean, the anti-protester law that allows you to run over and injure, and if not kill, a protester and get away with it? I mean, you gotta admit, that is pretty messed up. But what do you expect from Republicans? Like I said, they don't care about the people. They only care about the money in their pockets. So less people to give money to means more money in their pockets because they're greedy. 
And that's a proven fact. And now we're actually going to talk about, this is a very disturbing law. It's actually in Florida. And as you heard in the very beginning, I mean, I have a lot of weird shit going on here. And this one's from Florida, from a, a viewer that basically says that they passed a new law in Florida allowing school administrators to actually check your child's genitalia to make sure that they're the proper gender going inside the restrooms. So basically, I'll let you watch this quick video. I'll be right back. Okay, so it has just been brought to my attention to me by my child that the bill has passed in the state of Florida where school administrators can now inspect the genitals of your child to determine their sex if it is up for question. I'm gonna tell you right now, as a parent of a child who lives and attends school in the state of Florida, if you attempt to touch my child, I'll end you. And he has been instructed to swing first, ask questions later, if someone tries to touch him. You've been warned. Have a great day. And as you saw in the video, I mean, come on, you got me. That's pretty messed up. I mean, okay, you have, you have a, a 12 year old girl going to the bathroom, and the male school administrator is going to check to make sure she has a vagina. Or you have a, a little boy going to the restroom, you have a school administrator check to make sure she has a penis. I mean, come on, that is so messed up. I mean, that right there is straight up allowing pedophilia to happen in Florida. And that was passed by a Republican, nonetheless. Because you know a Democrat would not allow a sex offense to happen in schools, especially not trying to cover it up by some pussy ass of the law. I mean, you gotta admit that, some of the stuff you've seen in my in my preview today is actually really, really messed up. I mean, the new laws, the new uh, sex offender law, oh my gosh, it's so messed up. And then I got a I got a quick clip to show you. It's basically of a house in Kentucky that um well you have to see the clip to to, to get it. So I'll play the clip. It's a it's a short one. So I'll be right back. And as you saw. The House in Kentucky, where Kentucky is 95% Republican and massively white, and yet it also shows that how 96% of that population is on public assistance of some sort or another. And that's pretty bad because Kentucky is, oh my God, that's Mitch McConnell's state. You know, good old Mitch, his wife's a thief, McConnell. You should remember that from the CARES Act when she stole like a million dollars from the Paytech Protection Plan that was meant for small businesses, as well as a few other things. And on a different topic here, we have actually two senators, Republican senators out there, that came up with two different things. We have Josh Hawley out there, and we all know Josh Hawley from the insurrection because he's a traitor, and he's trying to cover his butt, you know, even though he's going to get, you know, indicted and probably put in prison, but... He is proposing a bill out there to give parents a $10,000 stimulus check. And what that is, is if you have any kids under 13 years of age, the mother will get a $6,000 check, the father will get a $6,000 check. Now, how messed up is that? First, Republicans are all bent about spending all this money, and now Josh Hawley proposes this bill to actually allow more spending. I mean, he either has one of three things that's going to happen. First is, he's either going to propose it, and he, when the Democrats shoot it down, he's going to make them look bad. Well, we were trying to help out the parents, but the Democrats didn't want it. Or he's hoping that it'll pass, and it'll make him look good, and make it, make you know make the people think, oh, he's a nice guy when he's a douchebag. Or he's, the Republicans will shoot it down, in which case his whole plan gets backfired on him because he's Republican. And then we also have another senator out there that actually proposed giving the parents $8,000 
for child care. Okay, why give all these parents all this money when basically that if they're if they're not working, they shouldn't be getting nothing. And most of the people that are out there nowadays, I mean, they're on they're on unemployment and they're getting a monthly stimulus a weekly stimulus check actually so I say via the um current oh by the current Biden stimulus package. And I'm trying to figure out what happened to all this money and all these promises about how the Democrats wanted to help out all the essential workers and frontline workers, and yet we haven't seen nothing. In fact, the frontline workers are out there now getting beat up for being frontline workers to help out when they helped out in this COVID crisis, and that's just totally messed up. I mean, if you, I think it's on, I think it was on Facebook where you actually saw the the actual frontline worker. She had like a massive scar right here. She was trying like to help uh, a patient inside the um, the ambulance to help him out, and the patient just went up and just just bit right here. She had to have uh, reconstructive surgery, uh, basically you know plastic surgery to re repair it, and you can still see it. It is way way messed up. But now, on to my final video. My final video is talking about how Trump supporters love Trump, but Trump doesn't love them. So I'll be right back after this short video. Thank you. In all of this is. The people Trump despises most love him the most. Go look at Mar-a-Lago, see if there's any people that look like you. I'm talking to you in the audience. The, the, the Trump voter who, you know, idolizes the guy. He despises you. I don't hate Donald. Donald's doing his thing. I hate you for voting for him, for not having an, an intelligence, for not able to see what's going on with the coronavirus. Not able to see what the Justice Department is doing. I hate you. I don't want you here. The and as you noticed, it is actually mostly accurate about all that stuff. And because you're not going to see a person like me or you over there where Trump's at being praised by, be praising him or being praised by him, not unless you have billions of dollars. Like he does, or supposedly does. But I'm sure I've, I, I know right now I've actually taken up enough of your time. And I appreciate every viewer on this one. So you guys have a great day and a magnificent evening. And I'll broadcast again to you either tomorrow or Friday. Until then, be safe, be happy. Bye. Yeah. I got this feeling inside my bones. You win the club, just to party I'm there, I get paid a fee It's Friday night and I won't be long Till I hit the guns floor, hit the guns floor I'm living